Good morning, Warren Ma. I'm Allie. And I'm May. And these are your Marauder announcements. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Break out the mandals, Warren Mott. Tomorrow's weather is rainy with a high of 76 and a low of 59. Charity Week t-shirt order forms are out in room 101. Today is the final day to order. <laughs> Shirts are $15 each, and your shirt is your ticket into the carnival theme party for charity on May 17th, 7 to 10 p.m. The Warren Consolidated Schools Festival of the Arts Fine Art Show is now on display at the Community Center. The work of many talented Mott students are being showcased, including the best of show winners, Ethel Yako and Paige Goodjine. The reception for the event will be held Wednesday, May 14th from 6 to 8 p.m. Please stop by during the month of May and view the exceptional art that Mott and other schools have created. Love Mott? Here's a video on more. I love teaching at Warren Mott. Uh, I have such wonderful, talented art students. It is a joy every day to come in and teach something that I absolutely love. Warren Mott is just the greatest. I love Warren Mott because of the AP classes and uh, Mr. French. I love Warren Mott, all the art classes, and everyone around here. It's great. It's fantastic. One reason I love Warren Mott is for this um, girls' basketball team. I love Warren Mott because, I mean, it's just Warren Mott. It's fun, I love the people, and the teachers. I love Warren Mott because it's better than Cousin L. Attention Warren Mott seniors, prom is coming up. Guest passes and contracts are available today. They are due May 16th before 10.30 a.m. Ticket sales are May 7th to the 20th and are $60 each. Seniors, when buying a ticket for prom, make sure you sign up for a table to sit. Only 10 people per table and your ticket must be purchased in order to reserve a seat. Prom tickets will be free for seniors who scored a 29 or higher on the ACT last year. If you scored a 29 or higher at Mott, then we already have your scores. If you retook it, you need to show proof of your retake when buying a ticket. Seniors, Warren Mott has a tradition of allowing a senior with a cumulative GPA of 3.9 or higher to give a speech at graduation. A written copy of the speech needs to be submitted to South House office by the end of Friday, May 16th. Please see Mr. Schulte, Mr. French, or Ms. Peabody for more details. Seniors, to be in the senior video, please send pictures from pep rallies, games, spirit weeks, dances, etc. from 9th to 12th grade to WMHSSeniorVideo14 at gmail.com. You don't want to be the only senior not in the video. All this senior talk makes you think about our futures. Let's see where some of us seniors are going next year. Hey, my name is Aidy Yusuf and I'll be going to Alton uh, University in the fall for physical therapy and shout out to Ms. Mendez. My name is Jerome Rogan and I'm going to McCollum this fall. My name is Tony Valenzuela. I'm going to the University of Detroit Mercy in the fall. I got a $13,500 scholarship um, that's per year. So I'll be going there for four years for business administration and then I'm going to go to the My name is Adrian Steve and I'm going to Lancaster Community College in the fall. My name is Dylan Neisler. I'm going to Lincoln Memorial University in Tennessee on a lacrosse scholarship. I want to be in nutrition. Hi, my name is Lyle Neighbor, and I'm going to Blue State College of Engineering for a major in computer science. And I got accepted into the Bridge program for math. My name is Mitch Walarczyk, and I'm going into engineering. My name is Justin Bernal, and I'm going into public administration. My name is uh, Charles Havern, and I'm going into teaching. My name is Kevin Boa, and I'm going into physical therapy. And, and we're, we're the McComb Crew. Wixba's spring musical, Peter Pan, is coming on May 16th and 17th. Come and enjoy the experience and magic of Neverland. Mandatory Ecology Club meeting today after school. Teachers, the Ecology Club will be collecting the Sherman Drive items and recyclable bottles after school tomorrow. Library times have changed. The library is closed during fourth hour and for all three lunches and open during fifth and sixth hour. And that's all for your Marauder News. Here's a video on Grand Valley University. Hey, I need you to ask. Hey, my name is Aidy and I'll be going to Alton uh, University in the fall for physical therapy. And shout out to Ms. Mendez. 
Good afternoon, Warren Mont. My name is Simon. And I'm Gino. Here with your Marauder Sports. The dance team tryouts are May 14th through 16th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Warmont Color Guard tryouts are being held Monday, May 5th, 2014 through Thursday, May 8th, 2014 from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the Annex Gym at Warmont. Tryouts are open to all students, band members, and non-members, male and female. The golf team improved to 4-0 by beating Sterling Heights High School by seven strokes. Gino Perino, right up here, medalist shooting a 40. The boys have a huge match Monday against Lanphier. This will be a match that will determine who will be in first place. Good luck, boys. Yesterday, the JV softball team lost an extremely tough battle against Port Huron, 9-8. Lauren Miazga pitched a great game and struck out six. Joe Lavelle, Zoe Lavelle had a deep standing triple, and Caitlin Lumpkins had a strong line drive up the middle. The team led the score in the entire game, but unfortunately couldn't hold them in the bottom of the seventh. Our next game is today, home versus Fitzgerald at 430. And that's all for your Marauder Sports. Just remember, students, it's a great day to be a Marauder. Today, there are more slaves than there ever has been in world history. 80% of those slaves are women and children. A few months ago, here at the school, we put red X's on our hands to represent the End It movement. What the End It movement strives to do is to bring awareness to modern day slavery and its existence. There's over 27 million people that are enslaved in today's world. The first step to shining a light on slavery is making it known, but the second step is getting involved. On May 17th, we're having something called the Hope for Freedom Walk. It's a 2.7 mile walk where you walk with fellow abolitionists who are raising money for freedom. These cards can be found in the front office. The money goes to help support both prevention and restoration efforts here in Michigan and also in Cambodia. So come pick up one of these cards in the office and help us walk for freedom May 17th.